What I wanted to speak to you about is in connection with the energy of this point in time, the realizations that are going to be coming within you are very different. They'll be looked at very differently. You'll see them very differently. In other words, you're, you've been like an onion waiting to be peeled, all right? And layer after layer, as the energies are changing, you are peeling away the dross and coming to the good stuff, that which can not only make you more savory, but make your life more savory and make the whole world more savory, <laughs> all right? So one of the things that you're in the middle of right now is having a one foot still in the old camp and one in the new one. And so the tendency to follow the lead of what you already know, to limit yourself by what you already know, is there and there very strongly. But if you recognize that this energy is to alter the way you see things, alter the way you do things, alter the way um, you interpret things, <clears throat> not taking anything away from you, but letting the real you out. Because the real you is a spiritual being. All right. Now, being a spiritual being doesn't mean sitting and polishing your halo. Being a spiritual being means interacting in your world with love and kindness. For all there is is love. How you interpret love makes a difference in how your life unfolds. Uh, most people today think love is sex. Right? It's a part of it. It's a physical expression of it, but it is not love. Love is the golden essence of yourself. It is that spiritual being within you that if you listen to it, directs you through anything you have to go through in life. No matter how rough, no matter how easy, it gets you through because you're in the high space. So what you're going to do is think about how you approach things. Now, I hear people in your world constantly saying things such as, um, well, you know it won't work because. All right? So they've just cut themselves off at the knee. How is it going to work if you've already claimed it is not? All right? And you say, well, I only have this, this, and this, so I can't possibly make anything but this. Well, go through your closet. There's a lot of other things in there you can throw in and make something else. You have to learn the flexibility of this point in time, the willingness to not only look at yourself differently, but look at how you handle life differently. You have to be willing to release to something new. Now, you'll find a lot of breakthroughs coming that may even appear to be forced on you. You know, most people who lose a job see it as a negative. But in reality, sometimes it is the one thrust that gets them to move and do something else. Plus the fact that they've been complaining about how they hate their job for so long that they have manifested the release. Remember what you think and do. Uh, how you think and how you act, how you speak, become your reality. So be careful when you're grumbling about something because you may be just getting yourself right out of it when you don't really want to be. <laughs> So, again, think about how you approach things. Think about what your words are really saying so that you don't get in your own way. Uh, let's take an example. Um, I have seen right in this very group people changing their outlook, changing their movements, changing their habits, and becoming something else that's pretty glorious, all right? People are under realizing that there's someone up there, all right, that helps them through their own high self to see that there is a game plan other than what they thought